It's not about rebuilding our movement stronger so we can lead in the street. We ain't gonna lead. There are movements that are rising. They are incredible. They are exciting to watch. They are made up of young people, people of color, led by women, led by trans women, queer women. It's an amazing moment for new movements. It's not our movement that is leading. It's the immigrant rights movement, the refugee protection movement, it's Black Lives Matter, it's Standing Rock. Those are the movements that are leading. What do we need to do as a self-defined peace movement? We need to get that information, the stuff we get from the National Priorities Project of what is it costing every single community in this country to go to war in Iraq, in Afghanistan, the global war on terror, etc., into the hands of those movements. We need to be working with Black Lives Matter on the question of the militarization of police. Why is it that there was a tank on the streets of Ferguson after Mike Brown was killed? Because the Ferguson police force had decided that they would say yes to the Pentagon when the Pentagon said, hey, you want a tank? We got some left over from Afghanistan. It's like, why do we need a tank in the streets of Ferguson? But we got one, so let's use it, hey. That's what we are dealing with. So that's the kind of movement that we need to be building. Working with the movements that are leading, getting over our sense that we need to lead. That is so last century. <laughs> but we need to be very clear that the resistance that is rising, the resistance against Trump in, in general is a big part of it, but the real resistance that looks like Standing Rock redefining international solidarity, that looks like Black Lives Matter redefining what a policy statement would look like. And when the Black Lives Matter policy platform included a whole section on internationalism and the need for human rights and the United Nations as part of that, that's a sign that our work for so many years has taken root. We need to nurture those roots and grow those flowers.